Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn about API testing with Catalon Studio and we are going to go very basic step by step. So I will be teaching you how to test your APIs with Catalon Studio and we will be starting from scratch and we will look at introduction. We will look at how to test APIs with Catalon Studio. We will look at some of the features of API testing in Catalon Studio and we will look at the summary as well. And you can follow these sessions on Windows as well as on a Mac operating system. So let's get started and let me first open my Catalon Studio. And here you can see this is the Catalon Studio on Mac and if you go on Windows you can also see this is how your Catalon Studio will look like on a Windows. So this is my Catalon Studio which is opened on a Windows operating system and when you start your Catalon Studio the very first window you will see is Catalon Help and you can also get it from the Help menu if you go to Help and click on Catalon Help you will get this window. Here you will find the version of your Catalon Studio so I am using version 5.8.0 in this video which is latest as of now. You will get a link for the release notes for tutorials, FAQs, user guide and business support and here you will see these tabs getting started, sample projects and reasons. In getting started you will find options for web UI, API, mobile and scripting. So you can always go to these links for any kind of help for example how to create a web service request, how to test the web service request, how to add web service keyword, execute and view execution logs. All this will be available in the documentation and in case you want to start with a sample projects, all these sample projects are available here. For example, you can get this sample Jira API test so that you will get some very basic tests and you can build over it and then all your recent projects that you have opened in your Catalon Studio will be displayed here. So now what I am going to do is I will go to file and go to new and create a new project. So let me create a new project here. I will say this is API demo project 1 and here you will get this option whether you want to go with generic and or whether you want to go with the API web service. Now just in case you are not seeing this option make sure that you are using the latest version or a version 5.8.0 or later to this series and then once you select this API web service in the project you will get an option to start a blank project or start a sample Jira API test project. Similarly if you go to generic you will see you will get all these options for API web service you will get an option for sample Jira API test project. As of now I will go with blank. You can also give a repository URL of your project if there is and then you can select the location. So you can actually browse and store your project anywhere on your system. As of now I will just keep this default location and here is the description which is optional and say ok. So this will generate your project and here you will see your project is here and you will also get this quick start window. So as of now I will just close this window you can always get it from help and go to quick start and you will get this window. Also you can see all these options available here in the top menu. So for our API project all these options will be available. Now in Catalon Studio you will add your API requests under the object repository. So you will do a right click and go to new and you will select the option web service request and here you will get the option to select your uh, to give your name and then you can select whether it is SOAP or RESTful. You can give the URL and description and say OK and the other direct way is you can go from this quick start. So either you can click here or go to help and go to uh, quick start here and here we have options for REST and SOAP. So you can create from a new draft REST request, you can create a new draft SOAP request, you can also import from a Swagger or a URL and similarly you can create a SOAP from a visual or a document or a file. So for now let me show you uh, very quickly a sample REST and a sample SOAP request. So for a sample REST I will just use uh, this Thomas Bear SQL request. I will also make all these URLs and notes available in the description or the notes section of this video. 
so this is a sample rest request so you can see uh, when I invoke this URL I get this uh, here this is the response and I can also just say forward slash customer and it will show me the customers and then again I can say forward slash I can give a customer ID for example I will give 10 here and it will show me the details of that particular customer so you can see this is showing me the details so let me just copy this URL and I will use this in my Catalon studio so I will say new draft rest request click here it will open this uh, window where I can create my request and also you will see here a request history so all the requests I will run here will be saved in the history from where I can also uh, refer them so I am just giving the URL of that rest request here which is this one and here I can select whether it is get post put patch delete as of now this is a simple get request and here we have query parameters so just in case you have any parameters in your request you can add it here for example if I say here question mark name equals Raghav and here you will see it has generated the parameter name Raghav and also I can add more here so in case your request has parameters you can add it here and then here are other options in case you have any authorization in your request for example if you have basic authorization that has username and password you can give it here as of now I don't have any authorization you can give your HTTP request headers here if you have a body for example in post or put request you will have a body you can put it here and it is already saying get method does not require body content and in case you want to add any verification uh, statements you can add it from here and here are some snippets that you can use so you can hide the snippets from here or show it from here I will uh, tell you about snippets in a moment and then we have variables so let me just first run this and see the response I am running this I will save the changes and let us see what is the response we get it is sending the request and here we have got the response so we have got the same response here and here in the response section you can see we have options uh, the first thing you will see here is the status so we have got 200 ok this is the time taken by the response which is 7 to 8 milliseconds and this is the size 341 bytes and then we have these steps body we have header so you can see all the response headers here and verification log I will tell you about verification log in a moment and then you can also see your response in pretty format in a raw format or a preview format so and then if you go down you again have these formats you can see JSON XML HTML JavaScript and so on and then here if you go to the verification tab in your request and you say show snippets you can add some verification snippets here for example I just want to check the status code is 200 so you can see the here is a snippet I will just click here and you can see I have got this statement here so I will just hide this and I will show you the statement so here it has generated a statement for us uh, WS verify response status code and here you can see it is saying assert that the response is 200 so you can also uh, get help of these snippets take it from here and you can also add in your test cases if you want or you can keep it in the uh, request itself and then if you run this now I hit on this play button and save this and let us see what happens so it is sending the request and here if you go to verification log you see this is empty so what we have to do is if you see carefully besides this play button there is a drop down and if you click on that drop down you will get this option test request and verify so you can click here now this time you will also get the verification log so here if you see this is the body header and if you go to the verification log you will see all the logs here so this will be very handy and very useful in your API testing and similarly you can um, now there is one other option that you can do here is you can 
also uh, add variables here just in case if you want to add any variables you can do that here and also let me first show you a sample soap request so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample vistal so I will say sample vistal URL you can take any of the sample visitors available let me see this link this must be having some sample apis or sample soap visitor so here we have got some options here we have a global weather soap us weather and city zip codes and then we have this thomas bear bank blz service so this gives us the uh, bank details let me just take this one i will copy this and open this in a new tab on my browser so let me see the whistle so here this is the wsdl for this web service soap web service and i can use this url whistle url i will copy from here and go back to my catalon studio and this time i am going to add a whistle so i will again go to quick start and here you can see here is the option import wstl from file or url click here so it is asking us to give the url i will give the url you can also browse and get a file from your system but i just want to use this url and say okay so this will generate the service and you can see it has added it inside object repository and this particular service has a uh, soap and soap 1.2 both versions so we are getting these two folders and here you can see this is the get bank request you can also click on this load from vistel in case you do not see anything in the drop down so if i say load from vistel you will see whatever the services are available you will see in the drop down and you can select this and then we have all those earlier options authorization http header request message verification variables etc now if you go to this uh, request message here you can give your request parameters and how to give those parameters one thing that you can do is if you already are working with your own wsdl and soap service request you will know the structure you will know the request and request parameters however if you are using some sample online whistle you can go to your chrome and you can go to the chrome apps or chrome extensions go to web store and here you can search for a uh, plugin called whistler and you can see this is the plugin that you can add i have already added it and you can see it is here this is the whistler plugin and whenever you open any whistle url on your system it will be activated so you can see now this is activated and you can just click here it will generate all the requests from that whistle and then you can click on any of the request and it will show you the body now here uh, this this is a web service where you can check the information for germany banks so i have to give some bank code here so let me just search for uh, germany bank codes and i will give a sample here uh, let me just see yes this is uh, here i will get some bank codes from germany and here blz code using bank name i will click here and let me select anything uh, let me select this abc bank abc international bank and here i will select all cities and this is the code so let me just take this so what i'm going to do is uh, i will just copy this request from here go to my catalon studio and here i will just replace this and in this at the place of this string i am going to add the bank code so this is the bank code i will add it here now you can use any sample uh, whistle or any sample soap service i am just using this for demo and yes now i can run this so i will just save and let us see the output so this is sending the request and it should show us the bank details 
with the bank code this one and yes you can see it is showing us the details this is the name and all the other details the area everything it is showing us and then we have all those options header and then formats and everything here now uh, the other thing is you will also get this plus icon here you can use this to add this particular request to an existing test case or to a new test case so let me add to a new test case and here I will say this is get bank details it is always useful if you give some meaningful names to your test and I will say ok and you can see it is generating this new test get bank details and it has added the very first step which is send request which is a keyword from our for our web service you can also go to this keyword browser here if you go to this keyword browser and you go to built-in keywords and you go inside web service keyword and go inside request you can see send request is a keyword under web service keyword so this is what it has already added here and the object is get bank which is our request that we just generated and then you can give the input output as well we will study all this in the coming sessions and let me go to the script mode from here and let us see this in script mode and you can see this is the script that is, that is generated you can press command and plus on your keyboard to uh, increase the font or if you are on windows you can use control and plus also you can go to catalon studio and go to preferences if you are on windows you can go to window and catalon studio preferences and here you will under the general tab so you will find a general tab here then you will find this editors and you will find text editors here you can click on colors and fonts and here you can go to edit and you can also change the fonts from here or if you just want to increase the font you can press command or control and the plus button on your keyboard so this is the um, script mode and this is what it looks like so this is how you can uh, use api testing with catalon studio in the coming sessions we are going to go more deeply into rest and soap api testing and we will create a complete project of rest and soap api testing with catalon studio i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching